My name is uh, Lieutenant Zach Johnson from the Fleet Diving Unit Atlantic. So we're here this summer in Bell Island, or in the vicinity of Bell Island, Newfoundland. Uh, we're diving on four wrecks in the area, and our job is to uh, look for and then uh, collect and then finally dispose of unexploded ordnance. So these ordnances were ammunition that were on these uh, merchant ships, which were sunk in 1942, uh, and now remain on the wrecks and could possibly pose hazards to uh, civilian recreational divers who like to explore the wrecks. Uh, so originally, uh, we've been tasked by uh, ADMIE, so the Assistant Deputy Minister for Infrastructure and Environment. Uh, it's their responsibility to manage what we call legacy UXO sites throughout Canada. So these legacy UXO sites are areas where there might be unexploded munitions, and this is all across the country. So most of these are old training areas from like the Second World War, uh, where, uh, you know, say the Army had a mortar range and they practiced, and now there might be some leftover duds that remain there. And there's a number of these sites all across the country. They manage them, and uh, based on a priority list and uh, as funding is available, it's their endeavor to slowly clean them up over the you know, next number of years. Uh, we pick one wreck at a time. We go down. Again, we conduct some recce dives. We look for ammunition lockers. We look for am ammunition that might have been stored at the gun mounts, as well as any ammunition that might have fallen around onto the decks or onto the seafloor when the ships were sunk. Then over the series of the next few dives, we collect all of the ammunition that we can find. Uh, we move it to a single point underwater where it's safe to recover from the ship. And then we bring the ship over in close proximity and uh, hoist the ammunition to the surface. Uh, and the ship goes back to Long Pond Harbor alongside the jetty there. And we transfer it ashore to an awaiting EOD team. Uh, then in cooperation with the Royal Newfoundland Constabulary and the RCMP, we uh, transfer it out to our uh, disposal site, which is at Cambrai Rifle Range. There we have another team who has prepared that site, and uh, they've got a disposal area ready so we can dispose of it and uh, get rid of it so it's no longer a hazard for people in the future.